Here is a five by six chicken coop with the uh, complete set for uh, layer hens. Um, we have the roosting kit by uh, Superior Poultry that comes with the kit. Um, a watering kit for a grass fed um, chickens, an outdoor feeder that hangs on the outside of the feeder, outside of the cage rather. And also here we have the, the uh, nest box. Um, it is a, a really neat nest box we'll show you here in a minute. And over here we have laid out the uh, what came in the big box behind us here, uh, the uh, complete uh, chicken coop. So here we are going to set the thing together, um, put it back, attach it back to the sides. These are pre-drilled uh, holes, you attach it with the carriage bolts that are included. Uh, tap it in there with the hammer a little bit. A little more. So here when we are assembling the chicken coop, if we keep from making it too tight, we can uh, adjust it a little bit to line them up if they don't want to line up quite right. Because they will line up uh, just in time if you have adjusted, if they're adjusted to the one end of the hole, why it doesn't allow the second hole to line up very well. But uh, making them loose both a little bit loose before you tighten them down works pretty good. Okay, so we have the uh, base put together now. Next thing is the ridge pole. So now after the four sides are put together, put the ridge pole in here. Nice tight fit. Sign of quality engineering, quality machining. So here is how we adjust the alpha light system, wheel system. This extra little bracket that comes along is for uh, adjusting the different heights. Um, I think for this setup here, we're gonna try this height right here. And that should do the job like that. Add the extra bolt in here. So with the roost kit for the small cage, uh, we have the side brackets, two roosts, and the bolts that mounted on, as well as the screws that fasten the wood fast to the brackets. Uh, the really neat thing about using wood rather than aluminum or something like that is that this uh, simulates a tree branch, so the chickens feel right at home hanging onto the hanging onto wood. So some of the things you see about a quality cut vinyl is first of all, those corners actually match really good. Um, and then coming down here, the corners, the bottom corners, they are hemmed, so they match the contour of the cage. Um, and back here is where the nest box is gonna go in. They have it pre-marked here where we're gonna cut out for the nest box to fit in here, so the eggs can be accessible on the outside. Um, it's also has uh, roll up sides on here, so we can roll the sides up and a lot more air in there in the summertime. Um, but now we need to go and attach the tarp to the cage. So to pass the tarp on, we're gonna start by looping it through there. Once to the top and back down again on these little bungees. And this corner here is designed to go down across the corner like so. So now we have the basic aluminum coop put together with the, with the roosting rails in there. Uh, the next thing we need to do is put the nest box in the back, uh, but otherwise it's ready to go. To install the nest box, put that in before the tarp gets covered over using the self-tapping screws. Put those in here. 
and uh, that secures an S-box with a screw on each side and the cage is already made for a hole for it so it fits in there perfectly. So now we're about ready to finish up here yet. We just need to cut out where the, uh, where the nest box comes down through. So we're going to carefully cut in this line, being careful to cut out, be careful not to cut the other piece behind it. Now with this uh, thing cut out, we can hook this into this little notch right here. That is designed to keep the water from running down across there and also hold this thing in place. Um, so that takes it nice and tight. And uh, the thing fits around that hole just nice. And that lid works perfect. Now we can tie the, tie the rest of the tarp down. Now we have a feeder to hang on the outside yet. It's nice to have a feeder on the one side and the water on the other side so we can go to carry the cage around that it makes it balanced. Uh, also to keep them toward the back so you can lift it up, you don't have to lift as much weight up in the front. Um, being this is a smaller cage, it's pretty easy no matter where you put it, but as the bigger cages get bigger, uh, it does make a, it make a difference. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna line this thing up here and uh, figure out where we wanna cut it. We're gonna leave the center intact, so that way the chickens do not climb out through the center uh, when we take the cage, when we take the feeder off. So we're gonna put this right in here. Now we have an opening here that's clear for the chickens to get their feed. We're gonna make sure it's high enough so they don't scrape their necks the, as they get the feed in the bottom there. So here we are with the chicken coop. This is a five by six model. It is really easy to move around. Uh, easy for a young person to move around or children or women or whoever. 